what is up fbg fam welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another tower of fantasy video so in today's video i did want to talk about whether frig is worth summoning or not i know people have that question in mind so i hope to answer that question for you as simply as possible as quickly as possible and hopefully this video is helpful for you to get a better understanding of what you're going to do for your account if it was go ahead and drop a like and sub if you're new i would love to have you stick around and it's greatly appreciated so at the moment right now on the global side of tower fantasy per the latest update you can actually see frig in game as well as the three star skin which looks incredible and if you just want to get a sneak peek of what frig is bringing to the table in terms of skill and kit you can check that out as well of course you cannot pull for frig just yet or use frig you would have to wait until september 1st when she officially drops but at least you can get a sneak peek of what she's bringing to the table all the percentages all of the skills so you can get a better idea of what you might want to do now just to give you a quick background just in case you're new to the channel i haven't seen my latest videos i have been using frig on the closed test client pretty extensively with optimal matrices with suboptimal matrices with not <laughs> very optimal matrices i've been trying to get a very well-rounded idea of what frig's bringing to the table for meta players non-meta players casual players just to get the full spectrum right and what i've gathered is that frig is worth pulling but i'm going to go more in depth here in just a second the reason why i say frig is worth pulling uh, at least on the global side um upon initial release is because frig is bringing a lot to the table in my opinion She's bringing this very unique mechanic of the unlimited dodge, which I find to be incredibly valuable and also incredibly fun to use. Um, I find Frigg to be able to hit pretty decently hard as well, being a DPS and having the frost resonance for the global, which is confirmed, is going to be incredible as well. Large AoE attacks, iframes on active skills, that ice field that has the unlimited dodges and being able to spam the multi slashes. Frig brings a lot and tons of fun to use, right? That's probably the most important thing. The thing is, is that in my opinion, and here's where the asterisk is and the thing that you have to keep in mind, especially as a free to play player, is that if you aren't planning to build a Frost team, I don't think necessarily Frig is going to be worth it for you because as a free to play player, you have to start deciding on what type of team you're looking to build or put together, whether it be an ice team, a volt team, a physical team, a flame team. You have to start narrowing down the type of team you're looking to build so you can be the most optimal with your account. So if you're not planning on building a frost team per se, Frig might not be the simulacra for you and you may want to skip maybe look for another simulacra down the line that fits the type of team you're trying to build like a Cobalt B, a Ruby, a Claudia, a Linye. Those characters might be more beneficial for you. Um, but if you are planning on building a Frost team like I am, I do plan on building a Frost team. And the reason being is because I find the Frost and Malacris to be incredibly cool, incredibly fun, and very strong. So Frig would be a great option for me, especially being the first one to come with the frost resonance and as fun as frig is to play with the multi slashes and the unlimited dodges it's just a no-brainer for me and then having saki down the line saki's an incredibly cool character with dual katanas and strong in her own right as well and then having lin Ye down the road to be able to round that team out i mean for me that is perfect and ideal and i'm looking forward to it and that is the team that i'm trying to build so for me personally frig is a phenomenal option and a no-brainer right but once again if you're not trying to build that type of team you got a volt team set up um you're just waiting for you know let's say for example if we get the collab characters by yuki or maybe the new simulacra that just released um tian ling i believe is the name i do apologize if i mispronounce um, then you may be wanting to skip frig and then save for one of those simulacras or if you're looking to build a flame team uh, you may be waiting for a cobalt b ruby and uh, th those are the type of simulacras you're waiting for so it's once again just dependent on what you're trying to do with your account and what type of team you're trying to build and once again this is especially prevalent to free to play players um, obviously if you're a whale or you know you you spend in the game then that's not as big of a uh, concern of yours but as a free-to-play player i think those are things that you do have to keep in mind so 
Brig has a lot of great benefits, and, and one thing I did want to address as well is obviously there has been rebalancing happening in the global side. I don't want to call it nerfs per se because they are two different servers. You have CN server, you have global server. You have to look at it from a global server standpoint, and I believe it's more rebalancing and making sure that things are distributed evenly, diversifying the type of simulacres that you go for, having more uh, enjoyable team builds and, and options to explore and having certain rebalancing in the kits so things aren't broken and there aren't metas that last around for too long and people don't have enjoyment doing pvp because something's overpowered right so i think all in all uh frig is a is a great character i think frig is phenomenal and worth going for if you are planning to build a frost team if you're not planning to build a frost team but you just absolutely love frig because of her design and how fun she is then you know obviously you can go for different team builds i mentioned that in a prior video and if you want to you know slap some other simulacras together you can and you can do that it just won't be optimal and you probably won't get the best results but at the end of the day tower fantasy is a game that you play for enjoyment the way that you want to play right especially if you're not planning on really pvping or care about the meta then you can do whatever it is that you want to do these are just my recommendations and, and things that I believe you should do based off of your premium currency and the amount that you get. You want to, once again, going back to being a free to play player, making sure that you are uh, using your premium currencies in the correct way. And I think the correct way to do that is to uh, really hone in on what type of team you're trying to build and focus on that and make sure that you're pulling for simulacras that are going to benefit that team you're trying to build the most optimally so you know in this case with frig being with the frost resonance and also buffing the uh frost weapons within her kit alone that is going to lead frig to being in a frost team ideally and you can pair you know with other frost weapons and even on a, upon official you know release on september 1st there are some great options that you can pair frig with uh, initially that I mentioned in my last video as well Meryl being a good option Coco Ritter being a good option and Subasa being a good option so I think one of the more ideal teams upon official launch will be Frigg Meryl Subasa I think that's going to be a great team because Frigg is going to allow the ice weapons to do more damage um, and increase the shatter as well that's going to directly help Meryl and Meryl's a beast in her own right right now and then you have Subasa for the extra damage um and being able to benefit from the frost resonance as well so this is going to be a great team to put together with this frost resonance it's really going to skyrocket subasa i think meryl is going to benefit greatly but of course coco you can have in there if you really are uh valuing the heals and the support and the freeze you can definitely put uh coco in there in place of subasa or even meryl so it's really up to you on what you plan to do but Hopefully this video was helpful. Hopefully you did get something from it and hopefully it points you in the right direction on what you want to do for your account and uh, for your enjoyment of the game. But anyways, I'm going to get on out of here. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you plan on doing. Uh, I'm excited for Frig on September 1st. I'm definitely going all in and uh, cannot wait. So I'll see you guys all in the next one. Remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do. My name is Cody, but you can call me further. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys.